times, you already know who it is. It's the one and only homie chef, aka Wings912 on IG. That's W-I-N-G-Z-Z912 on Instagram. You looking at me? This is a preview before the review. Appreciate y'all tapping in, showing love. If this is your first time here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscription button with the notification bell so you know when I drop info. And hit the thumbs up while you at it to make sure you keep me in the algorithm. Been doing some good numbers and I appreciate it, so let's go ahead and keep going. Uh, shout out to the Breakfast Club, you already know. Good fam, homies, we cook, you know what I'm saying? This episode is dope and it's a pretty good shoe that we've seen in uh, different variations, but I think this might be the best one of all. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Y'all know how we rock. First thing we get into is the box. Wow, wow, wow. And the colors read, sail, black, light, Oreo wood, brown. And I present to you guys, Jordan 5, sail. But now that we got him in hand, let's get into him. The Air Jordan 5 Retro SE Sale is crafted with off-white suede on the upper. Featuring Heritage Air Jordan 5 details, including lace locks, molded TPU eyelets, and a breathable quarter panel netting. A black embroidered jump mat embellishes the back heel and exposed foam tongue. The cushioning setup comprises a white polyurethane midsole fitted with an air sole heel unit and accented with speckled black shark tooth detailing. A milky translucent rubber outsole provides grippy traction underfoot. So boom, let's talk about it. Uh, there's a lot of things that we can say, but first of all, let's talk about the shoe, you know? Now, I like this shoe a lot. I like the layout of the shoe. The material is very good. A nice, nice, comfortable, like new buck. It's not bad at all. This reminds me of the new buck that is actually on the Amal Manier Jordan 5s. So that's a plus, that's very good. Uh, I like the way they accented with the seal on the mesh, you know? Gave it a little tint to match the actual actual new buck. That's smooth. The midsole with the white on the offset is perfect to me to give the contrast along with the black shark's tooth. And then you got the white speckles in it. That's amazing. And then when you come down to that outer sole, you know, the, the sail, the off-white sail, that's dope too. And not only that, but I even like the unfinished tongue. I like that feel with it. And it has the black fringe. That's that's pretty smoke, you know. This shoe is well planned out, well executed, you know? Now, the thing is, this is the third version of this shoe that we've seen within the last 365 days. We've had the Craft Fives, which had a similar material on the tongue, and that feels great, and I do like that, but the rest of the shoe was totally different, and it had an accent uh, color of orange, you know? So that was a little bit different. And then not only that, if you wanna go back a little further, Khaled had a shoe that was similar to this color, but the only difference is he had the accents of that purple and blue, and you know, I've reviewed both of those, but to me, this is the best version of the shoe. Period, point blank, this would get rocked by me. 
I'm telling you, this is just one that's, th this is the better version. It seemed like they were testing out things with the Khaled and that Khaled was very rare and it was very hard to get, but you know, luckily they bought it right back around for y'all. Um, it's not really a lot that I can say wrong about this shoe. Like this is just, this is on point. I mean, even down when you come to the to the uh, eyelets, you know, the eyelets having that white, that pure white, to offset with this wholesale on the shoe or light Oreo brown, if they want, to, if that's what they want to call it. I'm rocking with it. The laces having the, having the sale laces, definitely a plus. Like this shoe is just very well executed. I'm not even mad at these at all. Um, and then not only that, but if you're a customizer and you know you might have missed a couple shoes or you might have missed a pair of fives. These are definitely dialable. I could definitely see this shoe being a blank canvas and I've been talking about blank canvases with shoes so long because I'm so ready to customize and them episodes are coming very soon. But yeah, this is this is not a miss. This is definitely A1. On point, not even mad at all at Nike with these. Uh, these are dropping on April 13th and I think they have a price point of 210. Don't, don't, you know what I mean? put me on to that you know I mean, don't hold me to that too much but yeah these are a1 now we already know how GRs do especially when people aren't going crazy about them and we've just had the craft threes released not too long ago and then they just did the women's Jordan 4 which is kind of in a similar colorway which is close so I don't really expect these to sell out necessarily but if you're ten and a half ten and a half or higher yeah I think these are going to go these are going to definitely do some numbers uh, I don't expect them to sit too long. I don't know how how many pairs are dropping, so that's another thing to keep in mind. But it's a GR, so you can pretty much say these these are going to be around. But will they sit? I doubt it. I, you know, I, I can't see them sitting. But most GRs have been made in abundance to where they can sit and you get the discount. But I wouldn't risk it with this pair. These are fitting true to size, so please understand. Go for your normal size. You'll be quite okay with the fit. Very, very good, very comfortable shoe. But yeah, man, these are A1. I have no complaints about these. I actually like these. If I didn't have so many white shoes already, I would definitely cop, but I have Fire Red OGs and the Jordan 5 already. So, you know, it's kind of a, you know, I might, I, might, I still might cop, because like I said, I can customize and I could go all black with these, but I do have the A Mama in Year Dusk so if you've missed the shoe that you really wanted and you just need a blank canvas to go ahead and color it and still have that same feel, this is the shoe to go with, you know what I mean? So one more good look at these before we bring the chefs out. I'm not gonna lie, these are, these are very nice, y'all. A lot of people, not no hype about these because they're GRs but trust me these are nice and I think they might actually do something down the line all right but enough of that when it comes to the chefs I'm gonna give these a nine yes I said a nine the Nina you know what I mean very well executed although it's the third pair that are in this colorway or a similar colorway these are by far the best, you know, and I mean, Khaled had his collab, I get it. This, you know, I mean, the satin sock liner, yeah, that was cool, you know. The crafts, different material, yeah, that was cool. But these, they're A1, you know. So they definitely get the nine. They are well-deserved, chef approved. Get at me in the comments and let me know how you feel, man. Like, did I get it right, did I get it wrong? Is this something that you're interested in? Did you miss a shoe or two? Or do you just need a white shoe for your collection? If you do, trust me, grab these because this is definitely going to be a summer banger. You heard it here first. As always though, I appreciate y'all tapping in, showing the love. It is very well appreciated. Like I said, make sure you have subscribed and you have hit that notification bell to stay tapped in. Hit the thumbs up to keep me in the algorithm. And talk to me if you got some, you know, you got a comment, you want to let me know how you feel about the shoe. Get down below I'm listening trust me man I'm here you know but uh you already know how it is spread love man be positive 2024 is going crazy we've just had some of the wildest things happen and you see it every day and 
at the end of the day, man, all that negativity, you know what I mean, ain't you know, ain't necessary, man. So good vibes, man. Get some get some good positive vibes. Give out some good positive vibes, man. Spread love, man. It's a dope thing to do. Oh yeah, by any means. Keep them sneakers clean. You already know the motto. Before you go pay resale, come here and get them details. And if I catch you lacking, understand we snatching. It's not a game. We not playing. Breakfast Club outside. See you at Atlanta Got Soul. Peace.